I was one of the authors of the IDBS conceptual framework, the whole IDBS. Then I, I was one of the author of the National Biodiversity and Ecosystem Assessment of Cameroon, and I participated to learn to the, to the process and we did it from the IDBS, very interesting process. But I think for me, the, the most interesting, we, we are not yet start to implement it, to implement project or activity, but I think the process was very inclusive and participatory. And I think uh, as compared to the past process that I've seen in the, in the country on which I was involved, this one was particular in the, in the sense that we were able to invite, to, in, to involve for the first time what we are calling the, the non uh, sector actors who are playing key role like the planning and regional development and, and the finance. Most of the time when we are uh, we are, we are, we are conducting assessment. We never involved, and it's, it was particularly interesting to, for them to be part of the process, and to understand what are the, uh, what are the challenges, what are the opportunities, what are the gaps, and what do we need them? Because if you don't have them during the, what I may call the kind of the assessment phase, it will be very difficult to have them during the planning phase of the NBSA. So for me, it was, and in themselves, they recognized that this is the first time that they have been involved in the assessment process. And I think it was critical. I think for me, this is something that is really new. Uh, because generally, we used to, to do NBSAP and we plan, we program, and we budget. We budget with that those who, are, who have the legal mandate to, 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 to support the process. And then at the end of the day, you have document and we are enabled to leverage domestic funds. And I think this, this for me, this is lesson, the most important le, le, lesson learned from this process. And I think this is something that I can sell in most of countries where we are coming because it, why, and, and, and at the end of the day, another concern, because why the governance should invest? Because there is a huge gap in, 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 in public investment regarding biodiversity. But government can only invest if there is a kind of return in investment. The, government, the state is the first investor, but if for the state to invest, you need, you need to understand the return to investment. If the return to investment is not is not tension, the state will not invest. And then this is a process that we are building, and I think uh, with the elaboration of the NBSAP, I think the, the engagement of these actors that were outside in the process and from which in, at the end of the, in the past year, we, just, we used to bring them something like a billion. We need money. Where, 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 where are you coming from with this thing? And then I think for me, I think we have made a significant step in engaging them during the assessment process. And then surely that we do. when the NBSAP planning, the revision of the NBSAP will take place, they will be, they will be part of the process. And, and, and I think the issue of leveraging domestic resources may, be, may start to find a path, a solution path. Thank you. Thank you.